Cosmology itself, I think, is it's one of the great uh, recruiting sergeants, if you like, for into physics. It, it is endlessly fascinating for the, for the public. I think one of the reasons for that is that it's philosophically challenging as well as scientifically interesting. It challenges us to think very carefully about our position in the universe. Um, in a way, I think that photographs of the Earth, such as this one, challenge us. Uh, cosmology's challenge is intellectual, but we know what the physical challenge of photographs like this, posing questions, I think, about our physical insignificance in the universe can do. Um, in this case, I often think that the, these pictures are paradoxical in their behavior, because that certainly from an astronaut's perspective, you read the quotes of the astronauts, the things that astronauts say when they see the Earth from a, from a distance, and somehow the first the further away they get from our planet and the smaller it looks in the universe, the more valuable it appears to them. And there's a great quote from this mission, um, the Apollo 8 mission, the, the, the great famous photograph of Earthrise from Frank Borman. He said, when you're finally up at the moon looking back on Earth, all those differences in nationalistic traits are pretty well going to blend. And you're going to get a concept that maybe this really is one world. And why the hell can't we learn to get to live together like decent people? Which was Frank Borman's reaction to this photograph. 